Hello my classy people, Wayne Bolden. It is Thursday morning. Hope everybody had a great work week up to now. Do us a big favor, turn your closed captions on. Tip sheets, as always, are available. All stakes tip sheets are 15 bucks, and of course full car for any track in North America is $20. Email us at speedking24 at yahoo.com. Well, it's a light week in terms of uh, stake races. We're going to take a look at uh, race number eight over at Gulfstream Park on Saturday. It is the carryback stakes. Three-year-olds, seven furlongs, 75,000, a field of uh, seven for sure. Um, we'll dive in and give you our top three picks for sure in here. And uh, let's see where we go from there. Well, you know, I'm going to lean to the number five horse, right? Mr. Peaks. Mr. Peaks only has one win from four starts in one second. I love that the horse is by California Chrome on the back end by Tiz Wonderful, trained by Safi Joseph, the unlucky Safi Joseph. He's been having a hard time at it since uh, the first week of May. But Safi Joseph is conditioning uh, Mr. Peaks, uh, who's coming off of a maiden breaking win on May 13th, some 42 days ago. Okay, that was a beautiful, beautiful race. Uh, Mr. Perez was in the yarns that day, and he's in the yarns now, Edwin Perez. Uh, I think the horse is going to improve off of that race, stretching out from six furlongs to seven furlongs. One to five that day, uh, he'll be a little bit better odds because the horse in here to beat is our second choice, the um, number seven horse, Mr. Chow. So, Mr. Uh, yeah, Mr. Chow. But to me, Mr. Peaks has every right to go forward here. Uh, they gave him plenty of rest after that May 13th maiden breaking win for sure at Gulfstream. Those to racetrack should be able to go another extra furlong off of that race being by California Chrome. We're going to give Safi Joseph a nod over the big, big favorite in this race, who's our second choice, Mr. Chow. So number five, we'll take a chance with him on top. Our second pick, we mentioned a bunch, a Super Chow, obviously is the horse to beat. It's just a fine, fine colt by Lord Nelson. Delgado's doing the training, and Jamilio is in the orange, right? This horse is bred tremendously on the back end by war, uh, Warrior's Reward. Just a great, great bloodline, just a great, great um, uh, breeding rating on this horse, Super Chow. And if that's not enough, this horse has won six of nine starts. That's right. That's two-thirds, right? Like 66 or 70% of his starts. One second and one-third. Only off the board one time. So Super Chow obviously uh, is the horse to be. Comes out of the grade two uh, Chick Lang Stakes on May 20th at a quarter mile to go down at Pimico. Ran fifth by nine behind uh, the Steve Asmussen Rivet and Prince of Jericho and Frosted Departure. Set the pace a little bit or press the pace that day with Paco Lopez in the arms. Go back to Dramilio here. The speed figures are just phenomenal on this horse. And clearly, clearly, the number seven horse, Mr. Uh, uh, Super Chow is clearly the horse to beat in here. I mean, my top pick, I'm being a little cute, but I want some value because I know Super Chow is going to be over bet. Rightly so, the horse has won six of nine starts, and no one in here boasts that kind of credential. So, again, uh, obviously, he's a win contender. He'll be on my tickets if I choose to play pick threes and pick fours. But, yeah, Super Chow, the number seven, is our second pick but a strong, 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 strong win contender. And it's going to be very, very light on the odds board. This horse would be 2-5, to 3-5, if you're lucky, right? 6 of 9 wins. Mr. Chow, very, very nice horse. Uh, Delgado's done a great, great job with this one. Um, you, you, can't, you can't shake a stick at this horse. This is a very, very nice horse. So Super Chow will be the horse to beat in here for sure. Um, our third pick... Uh, would be Zakaria. Right. 
Zydeco, Zydeco, the number two horse is our third pick in here. Zydeco again is a nice, nice horse. Four wins from eight starts. The number two horse, somewhat similar to Mr. Uh, Super Chow, the number seven. Zydeco, four wins from eight starts, one second and one third, right? Again, this horse is by Cajun Breeze, uh, by Gra uh, Graham Hall on the back end. Haven't seen that name in a long time. But Zydeco deserves some attention in here. Coming off of a 90-day layoff from an overnight stakes win back Back in March at Tampa, which was the Ocala Breeders' Cup uh, sophomore sales. This is a very, very nice horse. And this horse is going to be sitting in the catbird seat, if you ask me. The number two horse, Zydeco, surely has to be used. If you don't want to put him on top, you surely have to use Zydeco at least underneath, for sure. So those are our top three picks in the overnight stake race here at uh, Gulfstream Park on uh, Saturday. Uh, we like, again, Mr. Peaks being a little cute with only one win on a maiden break, and I like that race. We'll take the number five to try to beat the big, big favorite and the likely winner of the race, the number seven, Super Chow, our second pick, and Zydeco will round it out with the number two as our third pick. So for us, it's going to be five, seven, two, just like that. If you need a fourth horse to throw in underneath, hey, try the number one horse. Should be there early at least. So for us, 571, eighth race on Saturday at beautiful Gulfstream Park. It is the carryback stakes. My friend Nate actually seen carryback run. Right? Said he was a great horse. Told me the horse won the Derby. I didn't know that. Okay. I probably should, but I didn't. Anyway, 571, eighth race Saturday, the carryback stakes for sure. Let's see if we can be a, a little cute and beat the heavy, heavy favorite, Super Chow, the number seven. Strong, strong contender. Stay classy, y'all. Talk to you real soon.